come back into the hall <clears throat> or you're at home coming back to your sitting place try to maintain that mindfulness that you built up in your period of walking meditation then you don't have so much work to do to focus your attention in on the body with the press. <coughs> So just as with the walking meditation you are bringing up mindfulness, paying attention to the feet, the sensation of the feet and or the recitation of Bhutto. Now as you sit down you establish awareness on your body, how you're sitting Just notice how you feel right now, the air on your skin, maybe cool or hot. Notice your heart rate, whether it's up or down. Notice your breathing, whether it's short, long, coarse or refined. And as you're sitting, try to relax any tension in the muscles, keep your back straight, keep your head up. These are like your initial check-ins with yourself as you begin your sitting meditation. And bring up the recollection of the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. Establish awareness on your object and begin today with mindfulness of in and out breath. So find that sensation of the in breath, the out breath at the tip of your nostrils. If you find it helpful, follow the feeling down to your chest as that expands with the in breath the arising of the abdomen. And then there's a pause. And then the abdomen falls, the chest deflates and the breath goes out at the tip of the nostrils. So in the beginning, maybe just be aware of these three points tip of the nostrils, chest, abdomen, abdomen, chest, tip of the nostrils. This is what we call mindfulness of breathing, it's also mindfulness of body. And how do we know our body? And partly through the sensations that we can perceive and know. And once you are more settled in being aware of your body, then bring your attention to just one point. Because our aim is to one point the mind, eka kata citta. Single, singleness of mind focused on one object. So with mindfulness directed to the breath at one point. If it's the tip of your nostrils, that's where you want to keep returning your awareness every time you lose awareness and get distracted. <coughs> Bring it back to the tip of the nostrils. Get the attitude right. You're not here to compete with anybody. You're not here to blame yourself or praise yourself for anything. You're cultivating the quality of 
mindfulness, clear comprehension, and effort. And these qualities are neutral. And nobody owns mindfulness. Nobody owns the breath. You're bringing up mindfulness directed to the breathing. So you don't have to judge your breath as being good or bad. If you have any health issues you know, that make your breath a little bit difficult, you just have to forgive yourself and accept that. And if you find your mind is all over the place, thinking a lot, not focused on the breath at all, again, forgive yourself, just accept that. It's because we haven't practiced enough before, so we're not yet very good at it. That's okay. Or whatever particular thought is arising, just note it. You don't have to fight it, do anything with it. Just note it, let it go. Keep directing attention back to the in-breath and the out-breath for the period of the sitting. If you find it helpful, you can count. As you breathe in, one, just silently count to yourself. Breathe out, one. Breathe in, two. Breathe out two, breathe in three, breathe out three, breathe in four, breathe out four, breathe in five, breathe out five, breathe in six, breathe out six, breathe in seven, Breathe out seven, breathe in eight, breathe out eight, breathe in nine, breathe out nine, breathe in ten, breathe out ten. And you only have to count up to ten and then repeat the exercise back to one. Or if you lose count because you're distracted, then always re-establish at one. Again, it's not a competition <coughs> with anyone so that you can tell them how many times you could follow ten breaths in, ten breaths out. It's really a competition with yourself just to see if you can train your mind to stay with the breath. <coughs> so you need to be patient, forgiving with the restless mind, accepting of how your body feels. There may be some aches and pains, I have an itchy throat, so I cough a bit. We all have something. But all of this is becoming the object of your awareness. You don't have to judge it as good or bad. Just knowing. Developing this quality of knowing. So we can carry on with this, putting effort into the practice, mindfulness of breathing, until you hear the bell. <coughs>